What's up y'all? It's your girl Gibby Face and I am back yet again with another video. So today um, we are bare face today and we're not doing any makeup. We're going to be doing some hair. We're going to be doing a cute little quick weave. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look then just continue to watch. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell to let you know the next time that I upload. Thanks again so much for watching you guys and like I said if you guys want to see how I got this cute half up half down style then just continue to watch. And this tutorial I guess you will need, um, you're going to need some hair glue, you're going to need um, some glosser, you're going to need some spritz. Um, you're gonna need some edge control. Um, you're also gonna need some beeswax. You're gonna need some scissors, a brush, a comb, some hair ties, and a couple wig caps. But I've already braided my hair down. I believe I have six braids. So I'm just going to start, I already braided it down like I said because it just, it's less time. So is I'm going to take my wig caps, I'm just going to put on the wig cap, all the way on my head, all the way. Make sure those braids are covered. And I think I'm gonna do, um, some people do one wig cap. I don't know, every time I do my quick weaves, I like to do two. So, I'm just gonna put on two wig caps. Like I said, all the, you want it all the way on your head. So, I'm gonna go thread my needle real quick and I will be right back. Okay, y'all. So bear with me because this is my first time doing a hair tutorial. But I just got my curved needle and I got it threaded already, as you can see. And I'm just going to start with sewing this cap down. So, now I'm just going to take one at a time. i got to be real careful with this. And we're just going to cut. You guys can see that so this is just the cap so the cap should be secure and this is the top half we're gonna do this later so I already straightened it and all that so I just put it in a little ponytail or whatever and made sure it's out of my way today we're gonna be using this I got this from my local beauty supply store and it is the model model um the curl pattern it is peruvian blow deep that is what it's called and the color is like this um this is purple i normally don't do too much color i'm like a straight up black jet black black hair so this is something different for me but i wanted to do something fun for my channel this is a purple and I got it because it's like, it's more like a subtle purple. It's not like, boom, like, you know what I'm saying? And my nails are purple. So purple's my favorite color. And as much as I've been wanting to try purple hair, like, girl, I've been so scared to try purple hair because I'm not, I don't ever do color. So this was like a $30 bundle pack. The color is 
O-T-D-K-P-U. So it looks like this in the pack. This is a 2018-16. I'm not gonna leave it, I'm not gonna leave it 20 inches long because I'm just at home. And like I said, I don't really do color all the time. So I'm just taking these bundles out. It comes with two, four, six bundles. Let me just get this off of here. The hair is so cute. It's purple, y'all. So I'm gonna start with the first bundle. And we're just gonna start gluing this down. with the bottom half um, we're gonna just take this part down and this is our top so this is where the beeswax and the spritz come in so we're going to take our comb and I normally just take my edges out leave my edges out like a sear and well, yeah we're just gonna take our edges out leave our edges out you're gonna want to straighten this I already straightened this before my hair is really a like a number two which is like a brown color but I like it black so I went ahead before I did this and I like washed and rinsed it and deep conditioned it and all that so what you're gonna want to do is have your I like the Murray's uh, beeswax that is the best one to me It's super thick so make sure because uh, you're gonna probably kind of use a lot of it um, this isn't a full ponytail so I'm probably not gonna use a lot in this one but Normally, if I'm doing like a full just up ponytail, then yes, I will use a lot of it to distribute it through the hair. And this is what gets your hair like that super like sleek, shiny look. So make sure you like warm it up in your hand, spread it out. And then you just want to take it and kind of just mix it through your hair. And then you want a hard brush. Um... You want your hard brush um, to be able to distribute that product throughout your hair. So I'm just putting that beeswax in really quick and I'm just going to be brushing all the hairs up. I'm going to be making a nice cute high ponytail. See how it like holds this is like a super duper good hold so I like to spray some spritz and that's also what's gonna give it that like sleek super shiny 
look. So I like to do my edges first. So I'm taking the edge effect, edge control. Um, this is in the number five, it's an extreme hold and this is the peach flavor, it smells really good. So I'm just gonna be using some of that. And then I'm going to just lay, start laying my edges down. black strip we're just gonna wrap this around now I'm just gonna take another neck strip and we're gonna cover and protect our hair I just wrap it around like this. I'll take a rubber band. And secure that part. I'll just start wrapping the rest of it around. I'll take another take another rubber band. that and it should look something like that and then I got two more bundles left so I'm going to use two to make a ponytail some people do this a certain way I do it in a bun so the ponytail can be higher and that's why I put the bun in some people do their own ponytail like an extended ponytail an invisible ponytail but for this look specifically I do a bun and wrap all the hair around and I will show you guys here so I'm gonna just start I do it little by little I'm gonna do the end of the hair and then I'm just gonna start at the very very top of the ponytail But I like to put a little bit of glue on at a time so I don't get any glue on the hair. So I'll just start wrapping it around like so. Okay, so I just put this up in a clip. And this is what I got so far so we're still wrapping it around if you need to get some of it out of your way if it gets overwhelming with the hair 
and just throw it up in a little bun and a clip and just keep going. So now you're going to want to take a piece, you want to put all the hair up, you're going to want to take a piece from the back and I went ahead and straightened this piece off camera. So this is the piece that we're going to wrap around our ponytail. I take this piece and make sure it's combed out and I'm just going to do this little by little and you're gonna need uh, some got to be glued spray and this is the uh, freeze spray yep yeah, the blasting freeze spray and you're also gonna need your hair dryer so this is like the finishing touches you want to make sure all the hair is out of the way and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray And I use a lot of this stuff for this part. So when you're done with that, you take your ponytail down and this is what it should look like. And we're just going to start customizing our hair. So you can choose not to cut it or you can cut it. Um, I'm gonna cut it a little bit like I said I don't want this bottom part 20 inches so I'm probably gonna cut it to like here and then we're gonna put some layer in the ponytail and that'll just make the ponytail like more um, you know bigger um, you could comb the curls out if you want to you don't have to but yeah I'm just gonna freestyle on this real quick so we're going to do that and then, yeah. Okay, so you guys can like finger through the curls. 
um, to make it poofier if you want to that makes it bigger but I just fingered a little bit I don't want to get the curls like frizzy so I would do it just a little bit just kind of see pick out that curl like so and then it makes it more poofier um, and then you could also um, put some layer into it putting layer into the whoop, putting layer into the actual ponytail makes it bigger too I'm just getting the rest of this like flyaway hair that always happens when you get done doing a cut I like to take this um it's a glosser it adds shine eliminates frizz uh i like to use this to just do some finishing touches i like to put it on this part so that looks extra shiny and cute and then i put some on my actual hair and you can put it in the hair just a little bit of it though just to bring it back to life if you like kind of pick the curls out so a little bit goes a long way with this stuff but yeah this is the finished look let me know if you guys like videos like this um i will do more hair videos if you guys want this is my first time doing um hair videos on my channel so yeah like i said you guys just let me know if you like and i will do more um let me know what you want to see in the comment section below and yeah i will see you guys in my next one thank you guys so much for watching again don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you next time sis